Hi guys, this is how to play the riff from Smokestack Lightning. Um, I'm going to cover the easy way to play it that's suitable for beginners just learning how to play their pentatonic scale um, as part of my course of 10 songs um, that teach you songs that use the notes from the minor pentatonic scale. But we're also going to cover how to play it finger style and try to keep this thumb note going uh, in between it as well. Um, we're going to start off with a pick, but if you can just use your first two fingers, that would make it sound a little softer, a little warmer, a little more like the record. But I, I do recommend that most of my beginners at least start with a pick and persevere with it for a good long time. The vast majority of rock and blues guitar is using a pick that you'll want to be able to play. So at least start off with a pick and then make your choice. We're going to start off with the thinnest E string and we're just going to play really cool riff it's got so much content in such a small amount of time it is going to be tricky for a lot of beginners to learn but persevere with this we've got slides we've got hammer-ons and flick-offs and your E minor pentatonic scale, so this is really cool stuff, guys, if you've never heard the riff before, please go and have a listen to it. So we start with our thinnest string, open E, to middle finger at the third fret, and if you can, just bend it up, push it up a little bit. Just like a couple of millimetres, or even a millimetre, it just, it sounds a lot more like the record if we can do that. And then with the same middle finger, we start at the second fret of the third string on an A note, and we slide it to a B. Now we do want to hear the A note that we've come from, the third fret note that we've come from, but we don't want to hear the middle fret, so we're definitely not going... Okay, we're not hearing every fret, we're just hearing second fret to fourth fret. And we're wanting to you your fingers to memorize this two fret movement. We want to memorize that distance. And we want to keep the same amount of pressure down from the second fret to the fourth fret. I'm not if I let go at any point, the, the note stops, okay? The idea is we pick and slide to hear another note without having to pick again. Now, at first, if your fingertips aren't used to string bending or uh, these slides, it is, it's just going to slice into them. It's going to chop them up. They're going to go bright red. Um, don't do it too often. We'll cover how to play this riff without the slide as well, so you can still practice it. But this sliding technique is too frequently used not to cover, and this is an epic, I'd say. I've chosen these songs because they use the E minor pentatonic scale. So we start off. Open, third with a bit of a bend, slide, first finger at the third fret of the B string, back to the note that you slid to, so still at fourth fret, from the slide, pick, slide, first finger, a string down, back to the note you've just come from, just a recap to there. Already there's an awful lot of content there, probably more than any of the songs in this series, but we need to get that slide because also coming up in next is uh, going to be Hey Joe, so do check out that lesson if I've had a chance to upload it yet. We're going to have to get these slides absolutely sorted before we have a catch chance in hell of uh, playing Hey Joe basically, which is all about slides. There'll always be a beginner's way to do it, but we want to get that slide in there. After the first finger to second finger move, after where we've got up to, first finger at second fret of the third string, flick off to the open third string, so we pick and then flick down. Be doing a lesson on hammer-ons and flick-offs and I'll put links to all my videos that kind of have them in when I shoot that one. So I'm just going to teach you why you want to learn them first of all because you get to do a 
the guitar hero stuff that you see Angus Young doing. Best done with a flick off there. Pick. Open. Pick at the second fret, and that's on the D string. From the slide. You can do it with picking every note, especially when you do it slowly. And without any phrasing at all. And then hopefully you can hear what the phrasing adds. When it's all those indescribable little qualities that make any music sound more lyrical, but specifically here guitar playing sound more lyrical because we can bend notes up, slide between them, and um, yes, it's just trying to add that. It's all the things that the scale doesn't show you, which is why I've showed you the set of notes that the scale uses. But if you just spend all your time walking up and down a set of notes, yeah, your technique may improve, but you'll probably be bored to tears and you'll be thinking, why am I doing this? Why do I want to learn this minor pentatonic scale, Andy? Well, if you want to be able to do this, you first of all want to be able to do your minor pentatonic scale, which is the first video in this playlist in this series of videos and you'll be able to find it on my website as well andyguitar.co.uk but also know how to add phrasing to it like that second fret to fourth fret slide and add it with that kind of rhythm everything's got a on a bounce one and two and three and four everything's done dun, 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 like the the 12 bar blues stuff that I've also done in the previous video. Um, so let's play that along together four times through because the record's awfully fast and I want you playing along to me comfortably before you start playing onto the record and before you really kind of feel where the, the groove is yourself before you try and have a go on your own too much. So along to me, we start on beat two because beat one is just the open E string. We're going to start on one, two, three. Let's give this a go together. One, oh, hang on. Two, three, four. One, two, three. And then our slides. That's what we're going for. Even slower than that. In two, three, four. Mute. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. And one, two, Three and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four and one and two and three and four and one. See, even I made mistakes. It's all good. And then we want to try. Well, you, you certainly want to have a go. At just putting the open E string along to this as well. Do, 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 do. Trying to think of, right, how does all this fit together? Count. A one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three. Okay, something you can do along to the record. But that wants to be with your thumb, which gets such a different tone. And electric guitarists, we talk a lot about tone, the elusive tone, the epic guitar tone. But it's just the differences in the quality of using one guitar or another, playing with a pick, playing with your fingers, playing loud, playing soft, one guitar amp versus a pedal. All the different kind of indescribable qualities, but you know, we probably call this more of a mellow tone with your fingers and more of a harsh tone, heavier and louder with, with a pick. So you can use, play the riff. Pretty much all with your first finger, but after the slide, the B string, I'd use my middle finger. A 
and you know, that wants to be something that you can definitely do along to the record. When I'm finger picking any blue stuff specifically, I'm resting on my thumb side above the guitar here. When we're playing kind of lead guitar. I may rest it more this side if I'm playing the thumb as well, but ideally, kind of resting thumb side here. That's my little technique of the day, definitely. Okay, with the finger style, let's just have a demonstration first of all. Um, so the thumb is just keeping our count of one, two, three, four. First three notes, fairly easy. One, two, three, which I'm doing with thumb and third finger this time. The general rule with finger style is that we'd assign our first three fingers to strings two, uh, three, two, and one, like this underneath them, and the thumb's going to stick to any of these three strings. So, three, two, one, fingers, numbers, finger numbers wise. Um, so that's why we'd use our third finger there. One, two, three, thumb on its own. First finger then slides, and it's when we, the definitely the hardest part of this riff is sliding, and then hitting the thumb when you arrive at the side. So pick with your first finger, then hit your thumb. And from there, you're just kind of looking at the tab and seeing which parts line up and thinking about the beat. Last part. You know, you want to be able to tap your foot to this before you kind of go for this thumb idea and play the thumb along to the record and figure out which parts happen together. So, as my channel is generally watched by beginner guitarists and improving guitarists, um, that's just something I'm kind of showing as a gateway to make you practice your finger style, really, and, and make you play some riffs with, with your fingertips. Um, just to show you the difference in tone and where that can lead to. Um, but the definite priority with this lesson, uh, from, from your point of view, as a beginning guitarist or someone who's been playing maybe less than a year, is definitely trying to get the rhythm of this solid along to the song with a pick and maybe with your fingers and then being consciously aware that you want to be learning adding slides and adding phrasing to your plane from around I've been learning a year, I've been learning two years definitely need to be starting to bend these notes up a little bit and knowing which notes to bend and which notes not to um, which will all be covered in these videos in your improvisation and anything else do what the songs do is the best advice that I can give for you so that's how to play Smokestack Lightning. Uh, please check out the other songs in this playlist of 10 songs. And um, subscribe if you like what I do. Check out andyguitar.co.uk to keep in touch and find out what other great lessons I offer. And hopefully see you again. Bye bye for now.